Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Thrifty Thursday on a Friday, again. Well, it's been about four weeks. Let's see what I found. Hello. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And we're going to begin with these delightful little wall plaques. These are California pottery. And I think they're absolutely delightful and they're gonna go in my laundry room. They were 20% off and $2.99 each. And I think that was not too bad. They're very, very pretty. Next, we have this fun little set of cookie cutters. What's really sweet about these is they sit on the edge of your mug or your cup. They are intended for Christmas, but I'm going to take the gingerbread man, the tree, and the house and I'm going to make cookies for the upcoming craft fair because I have an assortment of teas and the little infusers that I'm going to be selling. So I think they're going to be a wonderful addition. That was a fun find. Next we have this little teapot. It's nothing very special, but it will make a nice bird feeder. I will repair the little chips with nail lacquer and it will make a fine little bird feeder for spring for the next craft fair. And a nice little paperweight with the lid. Those have become very popular lately at the craft fairs. I sell them for about three to four dollars depending on the size. It almost matches my little plaques, but I have completed my teapot collection. This is a little vintage porch light from the 70s and 80s. It does have resale value because people use them in restoration projects. These are ideal to pick up for vintage restoration. I am very selective about the lighting that I picked up. I only select the items that are ideal for restoration projects and they are easy to store. They may sit on the shelf for a few months, but they will sell, and you have to plan for that. This has a resale value between $17 and $24. Now this was a bucket list find. This is English. I'm not exactly sure what type of mold this is for. I've been on the hunt for a game pie mold because I really would like to do a game pie. I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to use it. And maybe if one of my subscribers could tell me exactly what kind of mold this is, I would appreciate that very much if you could put that in the comments below. This little mold may not have been exactly what I was looking for, but it is a nice little addition to the modest little kitchen gadget collection that I'm building. I'm going to clean it up and I am going to use it. Here we have this charming little jewelry box. My intentions are to resell this. I'm not going to repurpose this or upcycle it. I'm just going to replace the knob and I'll share that with you in an upcoming video. How I'm going to duplicate that knob and replace it. But it's very sweet. It does have a resale value between $18 and $24. Next, we have this beautiful bowl made in Japan. Absolutely delightful. I am going to use this in an upcycling project, and I'll share that with you in an upcoming video, but it's very, very pretty. It's almost tempting to hang on the wall. I purchased this and the following items for 50% off. I think it's very charming. It's made in Japan, but it almost reminds me of Clarice Cliff. I 
I set out specifically on Wednesday this week to look for saucers and plates to complete a project. I also need more saucers to go with the orphaned cups for the bird feeders. This little plate is from Germany. That was 50% off because it was the right color, but the little Japanese bowl and the other plates are from the same store. That's very pretty, but these little plates don't necessarily have a high resale value, even if they say Germany on them. These are just simple, inexpensive decorator plates, and I'm going to upcycle these. It is still too chilly and damp to work out in the garage on the 112 scale build, so I'm going to try and get a few of these little projects out of the way, especially regarding these plates for the upcoming craft fair. All very pretty and exactly what I was looking for, for what I have in mind. This is a delightful little random find. It was 20% off and I was just really thrilled with it. I couldn't believe it. It is not a pencil sharpener. It is made out of metal and it's going to look just wonderful up in the attic of my guild. Here we have a delightful set of bridge cards and they were 50% off because it was a blue day. Now it can be very dismaying if you are a collector or if you want to resell these because they tend to write on these packages with grease paint but I discovered if you ever so gently uh, massage the grease paint with an eraser it will come off. I found that a fresh eraser works the best but nice and neat. These do have a modest resale value, so if you see them and they're complete, pick them up. These playing cards are often collected for scrapbooking and junk journaling. This was wonderful. These were $3. They're very pretty. I've never seen them in a double set like this before and I thought it was exceptionally charming. They look like they're dancing and I think that's really adorable. They actually have a resale value between $18 and $24. Here we have a delightful pair of Father Christmas candle holders. They were 50% off because the color was red that day and I thought they were very, very pretty. I do not mind picking up really selective Christmas things all during the year because they are small and I do have a bin just for Christmas items. These little candlesticks were made by Inesco. Here we have this beautiful slag glass ruffled dish. It is not made by Fenton and I purchased it for $1.99 because it had a hole in it. But I have a solution. Several years ago I searched on Amazon for the best buy because I was making a tidbit tray and I purchased some in black, gold and silver. So this way I have some in my toolbox so anytime I come across a plate or dish that's been holed 
that has resale value, I have a solution for that missing part. So it is good to have these in your toolbox. This is a very pretty one and now I can put it up for resale because it's complete. It's a very inexpensive way to solve a problem. Every time I have found these dishes that have a hole in them, I've always picked them up for $1.99. Here we have this little blue sky pottery piece, absolutely adorable, with its tray. And this was 20% off with a resale value of about $27. This little sea turtle trinket box was a lot of fun to find. He was 20% off and he has a resale value of roughly $18. A lot of people collect turtles and frogs and various small animals. Perfect for an entry level collection. I found this little orphan teacup for $1.99. I'll use this for my feeders and I just need to find a saucer to go with it. Maybe this one will do. Here we have Tuscan Bone China made in England. Very pretty. I bet the teapot that goes with this is absolutely stunning. This teacup was 70% off, $14. I rated my teacup cupboard for the bird feeders last summer, so I think I'm going to put this back as a replacement for the ones I adopted for the feeders. I only found one listing on Amazon for $44, no solds. But it's a beautiful summer cup. I think I am going to keep that one. I tried to only use chipped or orphaned cups for the bird feeders and that's the same for the teapots. This is a very heavy inexpensive cup and saucer set. As you can see the, some of the stores are starting to price these separately. I used to pay about three dollars for a cup and saucer set. Now I have to pay around five. I did purchase this for 20% off as well as the following cup. This is also very heavy, probably made in China, and it was priced separately as well. I will be using these for the bird feeders. Though I'm tempted to keep this one because I do love violets. Those are my favorite flowers. It depends on if I find the right pot for it. I have to find the right pot to go with just the right cup. Thank you so much for stopping by for the monthly thrift. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.